Fano to Fano. I'm Nain the Joy Ninja. I am here to create some abundance on a little bit of money. Um, I ain't going to be a millionaire, but I am um, going to use what I have uh, to feel abundant and bless my family. So let's give this a quick count. I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 125. And in here, I have $15 worth of coins. So I've got 140 in total. I'm not going to count the coins because they're just loud. You're just going to have to trust me. Um, and we're going to be using my mini savings challenge book. So, where are we up to? We're up to September. <clears throat> and, ugh. This my mini savings challenge book. I think there is one of these left, just one. Um, I am working on next year's and it will be out before Christmas, but not sure exactly when. Uh, today, I'm really keen to finish this before September, so it was a it was a real bummer that I wasn't able to do last week. I think we're going to go for gold and do $30 worth. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, um, each flower is $3 and each bud is 2 so this is how I did it. I went uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 23, 26, 28, 30. I hope that's right. Yep. <sighs> And it's 74 in total. So I feel like I think we did seven dollars. Think two, two, three, four. Yeah. So I've got 37. That is just under halfway. Cool. That's that one. Now for my spring fling. Uh, this one you can get from Buy Me A Coffee. Where is my pen? Right, so you can make each of these icons worth whatever you like. Um, there's 15, so $10 each would be 150 bucks. Five each would be 75. It gives you an idea. I am rolling a dice because, you know, low income. I am happy with that. I'm just going to stick at three because I've got some other challenges I really want to potentially finish. Well, one I want to potentially finish today. And I'll just keep working at this throughout spring. Boho Savings. This is for my cats who seem to always be requiring some kind of medical something. Um, they are going to get 15 today. So 15 in there. So two rows, halfway there, and already we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 60. Nice. For Nigel, Nigel's nuts. Um, oh, I should have said 
that's from Madeline Budget Budgets. This one is from Liz and Les. I do um, let you know in the description how to go find them if you're interested. Nigel's just getting a tenner. So this is a slow and steady one's the race. So far he's got 20, 40, 50, 60. And I think that this will fund one of my kids' um, envelopes for gifts because their name, their nickname is Squirrel. So that seemed to fit. <laughs> the Tetris is from Sam Saves and I have put aside, what am I doing with this? Oh, $20. $20 this week. So yeah, I'm going to do this five and this 15. Cool. Twenty dollars for there. And I have so far 20, 40, 60, 75, 85. All right. Um, Joyful Heart. I might skip. Just because I want to, yeah, I want to put 25 into Guy Fawkes is quite a lot. I'm out of fives. Hang on. 25 because I'm thinking that I'm going to swap out. Um, I'm not going to use this on Guy Fawkes. <laughs> I'm going to use this on the school holidays. Maybe I'll save a little bit for Guy Fawkes, but I think generally speaking we'll go to like a community event for our Guy Fawkes and um, we just really need money to get snacks for tea. Alright, that should be heaps to get through the rest of the stuffing. So Guy Fawkes. Now, I made the rockets $5 each, so the simplest thing would just be colour them. There we go, 25 in rockets. Don't forget to add the money in. So, Guy, Fawkes, Guy Fawkes has. 20, 30, 40, 55. Considering my um, school holidays envelope's got like 30 bucks in it, 20, 30 bucks, this is going to go a long way to making sure we've got money to do fun stuff. Now, the phone. I'm going to put 20 in. Um, each icon is actually, I'll write it in, is $30. But if I only have $10, I'm just colouring the apple. So let's get this foam sorted. Wow, I went off the lines. So there's 20 there. We have 20, 30, 40, 55, 60. So far a new phone. These challenges at the back I haven't started yet. But I'm looking forward to it. As I finish out a challenge, I will swap them out for these ones. Um, 
I've come to the understanding on my budget like seven or eight challenges is my absolute max I mean you could do more but um, again with my budget it just it just takes that much longer to get anywhere with them and the key for me is to keep them small so that you get the wins faster and it just helps you keep going right so I'm gonna roll a dice to figure out what each, what each letter is worth I have two four six eight ten 15, 17. I've got 17. Let's see if we can finish today. Three. <laughs> One. Six. It's 10. Oh, 14. Eighteen. Huh. This probably means, well, no, it does mean I'm six, 10, 14, 15, 18. Yeah, I'm going to owe myself a dollar. And I just use this handy dandy IOU slip. IOU, get it? Um, I put, a, put the amount in there, and then when it comes time to paying it off, you just color it in. That's from Liz and Les. Uh, and three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's all going in here. I know it says shop local on the outside. I would love to be able to have a fun for shopping local. Um, but I seem to be struggling to have funds for everything I want so there's every likelihood this will just go into a sinking fund maybe Christmas and then I can shop locally for Christmas gifts yeah I think that's that's a plan isn't it just realized I colored in those last three letters I don't know why I did that maybe I want my do you know what? I'm just gonna roll I owe myself a dollar let's just go for broke here So instead of owing a dollar, I owe seven. So we'll change that to a seven. So the next time I stuff, um, I will be finished when I get seven dollars in there. Right, that's me i hope you're having a lovely sunday or you've had a lovely sunday and um, i hope by the time that this goes up that um koru granddad is feeling a lot better and that i'm able to return home and live from home um that's not a complaint it's completely fine actually he lives around the corner from me it's just a bit weird juggling between two households and stuff but lucky for me the kids are seeing it as um is a fun adventure. Anyway, I'll see you back here on Wednesday. Kia ora.